A very strange signal, surprised astronomers and may have originated from a unique or unusual cosmic object, thanks to James Webb Telescope, this signal could be the only lead to potential alien life. That could change our way of looking at our universe and the unknown. FRBs, better known as repeating fast radio bursts, are among the more rare and recent mysteries in the universe, and the latest discovery of a repeater confounds astronomers' evolving understanding of the bright flashes of energy from deep space that last for just milliseconds. Hundreds of FRBs have been spotted in the sky over the past 15 years, with the vast majority only detected once with our great James Webb telescope. But a small percentage of the bursts have been observed to repeat, allowing astronomers to trace over 20 FRBs back to their origins. One of the latest such discoveries is FRB, which scientists followed back to a globular cluster of ancient stars in Bode's galaxy, and the famous constellation Ursa Major, also known as the Big Dipper. Welcome to Space News Unfold. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and stay till the end of this video, because these strange signals that have been received could lead to big discoveries, so let's talk about them. This revelation came as a surprise to the researchers, because so far FRBs have been associated with magnetars, a type of highly magnetized neutron star that's not thought to exist among older star clusters. Thus, if FRBs represents an active magnetar, it must have formed through means that we have yet to witness. The details of FRBs are laid out in a study in the same journal from an international team of astronomers led by Franz Kirsten. The paper suggests that if the source of the repeating FRB is something other than a traditional magnetar, it could be something unique or unusual. We propose instead that FRBs originates from a highly magnetized neutron star, formed either through the accretion-induced collapse of a white dwarf or the merger of compact stars in a binary system. Put in simpler language, an old white dwarf star may have sucked up massive amounts of gas from a companion star or even swallowed a companion hole before collapsing into a magnetar. Getting to the bottom of the mystery will require more observations. But the takeaway is that tracing an FRB back to such an unexpected source suggests there's still much more to learn about the phenomenon, and it may upend our understanding of other aspects of the universe along the way. Is there an alien contact that could be made by this type of signals? Let me know in the comments down below. Nearly 15 years after the discovery of fast radio bursts, the origin of the millisecond-long, deep space cosmic explosions remains a mystery. That may soon change, thanks to the work of the James Webb Telescope, which tracked hundreds of the bursts from five different sources and found clues in FRB polarization patterns that may reveal their origin. FRBs produce electromagnetic radio waves, which are essentially oscillations of electric and magnetic fields in space and time. The direction of the oscillating electric field is described as the direction of polarization. By analyzing the frequency of polarization in FRBs observed from various sources, scientists revealed similarities in repeating FRBs that point to a complex environment near the source of the bursts. This is a major step towards understanding the physical origin of FRBs. To make the connection between the bursts, an international research team, led by Yi Feng and Di Li of the National Astronomical Observatories of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, analyzed the polarization properties of five repeating FRB sources, using the massive 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope and the Robert C. Byrd Green Bank Telescope. Since FRBs were first discovered in 2007, astronomers worldwide have turned to powerful radio telescopes like FAST and GBT to trace the bursts and to look for clues on where they come from and how they're produced. Though still considered mysterious, the source of most FRBs is widely believed to be magnetars, incredibly dense, city-sized neutron stars that possess the strongest magnetic fields in the universe. They typically have nearly 100% polarization. Conversely, in many astrophysical sources that involve hot randomized plasmas, such as the Sun and other stars, the observed emission is unpolarized, because the oscillating electric fields have random orientations. That's where the cosmic detective work kicks in. In a study, FAST detected 1,652 pulses from the active repeater FRB. Even though the bursts from the source were discovered to be highly polarized with other telescopes using higher frequencies, 
consistent with magnetars, none of the bursts detected with FAST in its frequency band were polarized. Despite FAST being the largest single-dish radio telescope in the world, we were very puzzled by the lack of polarization. Later, when we systematically looked into other repeating FRBs with other telescopes in different frequency bands, particularly those higher than that of FAST, a unified picture emerged, said the astronomers. According to scientists, the unified picture is that every repeating FRB source is surrounded by a highly magnetized dense plasma. This plasma produces different rotations of the polarization angle as a function of frequency, and the received radio waves come from multiple paths due to the scattering of the waves by the plasma. When the team accounted for just a single adjustable parameter, scientists say, the multiple observations revealed a systematic frequency evolution, namely depolarization toward lower frequencies. Such a simple explanation, with only one free parameter, could represent a major step toward a physical understanding of the origin of repeating FRBs. A corresponding author of the study agrees that the analysis could represent a corner piece in completing the cosmic puzzle of FRBs. For example, the extremely active FRBs could be a distinct population. Alternatively, we're starting to see the evolutionary trend in FRBs, with more active sources in more complex environments being younger explosions. Fast radio bursts are unpredictable, extremely short flashes of light from space. Astronomers have struggled to understand them ever since they were first discovered in 2007. So far, they have only ever been seen by radio telescopes, and now with the James Webb Telescope. Each flash lasts only thousandths of a second. Yet each one sends out as much energy as the sun gives out in a day. Several hundred flashes go off every day, and they have been seen all over the sky. Most lie at huge distances from Earth, in galaxies billions of light years away. In two papers, published in parallel this week in the journals Nature and Nature Astronomy, an international team of astronomers present observations that take scientists a step closer to solving the mystery, while also raising new puzzles. The scientists set out to make high-precision measurements of a repeating burst source discovered in 2022 in the constellation of Ursa Major, most people know Ursa Major as the Great Bear. We wanted to look for clues to the burst's origins. Using the James Webb Telescope we knew we could pinpoint the source's location in the sky with extreme precision. That gives the opportunity to see what the local neighborhood of a fast radio burst looks like. Some of the signals we measured are short and extremely powerful, in just the same way as some signals from the Crab Pulsar. That suggests that we are indeed seeing a magnetar, but in a place where magnetars haven't been found before. Future observations of this system and others will help to tell whether the source really is an unusual magnetar or something else, like an unusual pulsar, or a black hole and a dense star in a close orbit. These fast radio bursts seem to be giving us new and unexpected insight into how stars live and die. If that's true, they could, like supernovas, have things to tell us about stars and their lives across the whole universe. It remains important to discover what powers an FRB to emit such energy, perhaps electrons interacting with magnetic fields creating an engine of sorts. We would be interested in determining how extreme the properties of these magnetars need to be, to allow a burst from it to be seen across the universe, astronomers said. But the most interesting application of FRBs would be to use them as cosmological probes to study the distributions of electrons and magnetic fields in the universe with unprecedented detail. Astronomers will also continue to look at how X-ray emissions and these bright bursts of energy can occur at the same time. Whether or not all FRBs are created through the same mechanism is an outstanding question and it's subject to much debate among astronomers. Given that, it's clear astronomers will be delving into the ongoing mystery of fast radio bursts for some time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next Space News Unfold.